Hi, this is Matt with 2A Direct, and today we're going to show you some basic programming on the uh, EVX series radios through Vertex. And uh, to start here, we have a, a blank archive that we've opened up, and uh, we'll kind of just go down the line here and explain a few things. So first line here um, is all the channels, so if you double-click in here, it'll open up those slots. So we'll just start with five. And next to that is where you can choose either an analog or a, a digital channel. So as you can see, it defaults to digital for D. If we want to change that to analog, we'll go ahead and just double click for the A. Oops. All right, so we'll make channels 3, 4, and 5 analog. Next column over here is uh, wider narrowband, so um, these are all defaulted to uh, narrowband, and uh, I don't believe these can be changed anyhow. And next section here is the alpha tag for the channel, so it defaults to channel 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And if we double click in here, we can type anything we want. So you're limited to just a few characters there, but as you can see, it's customizable to whatever you want to put in there as long as you just abbreviate it appropriately. Uh, next over here we have a channel info so if you double click this block it's going to pull up a lot more um, details for the uh, digital channel so I'll double click that now and this channel information screen is going to pull up so this is all the uh, more complex uh, makeup of uh, digital so as we can see here it's got the list number channel status is being used and then we have it set to digital we have the tag that we typed in there and we can also change it in here if we want as well um, going down the line here um, only other important things for digital for now um, color code um, this is basically like a privacy line tone for digital so you have your choices in here 0 through 15 and then repeater slot, if you want it in repeater slot 1 or 2, if these are operating off of repeater. And then your uh, receive group list. So from here, you can select which group you want this channel to be a part of. And then there's the contact number right there, so it's just defaulting to call 1, because we just started here. And then over here, we have the transmit and receive frequency. And then we can also choose here if we want a beep to uh, occur when we uh, start the transmission. Um, we can leave it there, but typically we turn that off because that can be quite annoying if you have a lot of radio traffic. You don't want to necessarily hear a beep every time someone's speaking to you. Then uh, over here we have the uh, power level, so it defaults to high power, which is uh, 5 watts of power. And then there's various levels of low power, so I believe we have uh, 1 watt, 2 watt, 3 watt uh, availability there. And then uh, voice activation, um, if you're using Vox accessories, um, you can uh, set it here. And uh, talk round, if you want to have a talk round enable for using a repeater, you would select that here. And then other features, um, going down here, we have uh, priority mic. So switch that from internal to external. So basically depending on accessories you're using there. So that's the basic uh, framework here uh, for digital. So um, only other thing I might have missed here, uh, private confirm. Um, you want to go ahead and check that if you're doing uh, private calls from one contact in your contact list to another one. So go ahead and close that out. And we'll just work our way through the rest of the spreadsheet here. Um, so same thing we saw in the uh, channel information tab there. So the receive and transmit frequency. There's that color code I mentioned. Receive group list. Um, privacy, uh, private call confirmation and then the contact number. So basically everything I selected there is now displayed in the spreadsheet here. And then the most important thing you want to do is over here on the uh, list section here, we have to activate these channels over here onto this list. So we're just going to go ahead and type the rest of them in there. So channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, and channel 5. So now see these are set up. Um, to match over with these frequencies over here. So when you turn the channel selector knob, these will all pull up. And then if we wanted to set those channels to scan, we would do so right here by checking this box. And then basically, 
16 channels per zone, um, or they call it group. Um, to change between groups, you click this drop down. We have 1 through 32 here. You can actually customize the name of the zone or, or group if you want as well. So we could type anything we want here TWD1, for instance. And if you're toggling between zones, um, that's how it's going to show up. And if you wanted just to scan that whole group, you would check this box right here. And in addition to that, channel announce, um, I don't typically recommend this, this feature, but if we check this box, anytime you change the channel selector, uh, a voice is going to enunciate that channel um, anytime you change the channel. Um, so that's um, the basic uh, programming on the digital side of things. And just to touch on the analog really quick here for channels 3, 4, and 5. Um, only difference here, uh, frequency information. And then over here we have our, our sub-audio tones, which is like color code for digital, but sub-audio. Um, click in here, hit the space bar, and then if you double click in here, it'll pull up a table where we can select those sub-audio tones. Um, so typically you always want to put those in for analog. Uh, they're called sub-audio, digital, again, they're called color code. So that's some basic programming on the uh, EVX radios. And uh, coming in our next video, we'll go a little bit more in depth into some of the other features that these radios can handle. Thank you very much.